Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. Is this your first time of coming to my channel? Thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in this tutorial, we are going to make a simple video on how to achieve your shirt bubu top. So basically, what you are going to have here is your male bubu top on a female's body, right? But note that you know. If you want to make this for a male, you are also going to make it of the same effect, the same method, the same calculations and all of that. But we are going to rock this with pencil skirts with slits because we want to have this in form of a crop top. But if you want yours to be longer, like a very long top, you can uh, you also use the same method. All you have to do is just to increase your length from, you know, 24 inches to your desired length. So that's it basically. So this form of shirt dress, I'm going to show you guys how to add achieve your cufflinks, how to achieve your placard or your plate for you know guys clothes and all of that now one thing you should also take note of is that when you are taking measurement of this dress or this top you are not making use of your you know regular female body now for female body your measurements are always fitted to the body so my bust basically is 36 inches because female love their dress to be fitted but for male the measurements are you know usually free they don't wear like a fitted top just like we female so i have a detailed tutorial on how to take male measurements i'm going to go ahead and also link it here please go ahead and watch that video so that that will guide you on how to take your measurements for this style because your measurements shouldn't be fitted now you discover that from my measurements now i have my shoulder measurement to be 16 normally on a female dress my shoulder measurement is 14 inches but male shoulder don't sit on the shoulder exactly it drops that is basically how you know male measurements are and if you watch that video on male measurements you will understand what I'm saying better so the shoulder measurement for male don't sit on the shoulder but it drops that is why we have 16 now for the chest measurements you discover that I did not cut this bust measurements like the way we female call it bust measurement so for guys it's basically their chest because guys have chest and not boobs okay so we have 40 inches for the chest so basically for me for my fitted you know form of dress my bust measurement is 36 inches like i said this form of measurement is free and you are taking the measurement exactly the way you are going to take a male measurement because we want to achieve a male top here now my chest measurement is 40 inches my top length is 24 Four inches like I said you can go ahead and increase your length you know as long as you want it all depends on you now my sleeve length is 22 inches because it is a long sleeve and we're going to fix in our cufflinks and I'm going to teach you guys how to achieve all of that now our round sleeve is 18 inches basically my round sleeve is somewhere around 12 inches but because it is a free dress you know just like I explained earlier I have 18 inches for my round sleeve this is just basically on you know gender guys or males don't wear fitted dress why female love it to be fitted and sexy you get it <laughs> so let's go ahead now and just calculate our measurements so our shoulder measurements is 16 16 divided by 2 we have 8 plus half inch i'm going to have eight and half inches now i added eight half inch to my shoulder measurement because male you know it drops it drops it doesn't sit so that half inch will serve as allowance for my sleeve to join the sleeve and the shoulder together now our chest measurement is 40 40 divided by 4 we have 10 plus 2 we have 12 inches my top length of 24 plus 4 inches i have 28 inches now why did i add four inches to this basically you're going to understand this you know better when we get to the cutting part basically for male's dress or for male top it falls the back shoulder falls you know it doesn't sit on the shoulder because guys shoulders are basically kind of like this you know we want their shoulder to be broad like this so the back block falls on the front block so we, i added that two inches for the back block because it's going to fall this way and of course our two inches for our regular 
folding allowance at the lower part and because I'm going to be cutting out the back block first before cutting out the front block so I'm going to be cutting out the back block first before cutting out the front block and the back block is usually longer than the front block with two inches so when I am about cutting out the front block I will deduct the two inches I added to it but you get it yes now our sleeve length is 22 inches like I said I'm going to explain to you guys how we are going to attach our cufflinks now for your sleeve length where you have cufflinks you are going to have your band where you are going to fix in your cufflinks and then you have your sleeve so the number of inches I'm going to use for my cufflinks band is going to be 3 inches so you can use 4 inches if you want it to be very big but I feel like 3 inches is fine but it all depends on you and also how big you know the person is so now I have my sleeve length which is my total sleeve length is 22 inches I'm going to deduct 3 inches now I'm going to deduct 3 inches I have 19 inches right so this 3 inches here is for the cufflinks and this 19 inches is for the sleeve now for this 19 inches now I will go ahead and add 1 inch for my sewing allowance I have 20 inches I will add 1 inch for my sewing allowance I have 20 inches now for this cufflinks that we have 3 inches so let me go ahead now and write curve band for the band of our cufflinks now we have three inches i will now add one inches for the sewing allowance we have four inches right now our round sleeve is 18 so 18 divided by two we have nine plus half inch we have nine and half inches right now the reason why i added two inches to our chest sewing allowance is because I just want you guys to be on the safe side to have your sewing allowance but basically if you are making a male outfit allowance for male booboo or male outfits are usually very small okay but I just feel like you guys should add two inches then maybe when next you are making the dress or the top you can now reduce it allowance because it's better at the end of the day you have enough allowance than you looking for your allowance and you can't find it that reminds me have you been in a situation whereby you know you are done sewing your dress now and then you don't have any allowance left like you want to couple it up and then you're searching for your allowance and you can't find it if you've experienced that please put that down in the comment section and let's just encourage each other you never can tell who is passing through that and let me tell you guys something when this happens you're always very scared of what if this dress doesn't fit how are you going to loosen it up <laughs> let me know if you guys have experienced that in the comment section so like i said i added these two inches because you know this is our first time i assume that you know this is our first time and we want to learn but basically if you are making it standard for a male measurement the sewing allowance is not up to two inches so male sewing allowance is usually like half inch or just one inch because they don't want allowance at inch. let me know let me even know why is it that male don't really want allowance inside their clothes it's because they know they are not getting you know male don't usually increase um drastically or like females whereby you know hormones pregnancy a lot of things just make females to add weight so because of the weight we always want us to have allowance so when we add up based on hormones or pregnancy we have allowance to loosen it up so that that same dress can also fit us and this is because we women or ladies generally we love to manage okay we love this dress but this dress is tight we will loosen it until it fits in <laughs> We would just want to drop the dress that way. We cannot just say, oh, no, no, no. A lady's body can actually increase within six months or three months because a lot of things are actually going on. But for male, you know, they don't really have that, you know, kind of like body changes, rapid body changes. So that is the reason why I think they don't really add so many allowance to their dress. But let me know why. <laughs> What are your reasons? Do you agree with me? Let me know why in the comment section. I can't wait to read, you know, your opinion, your suggestions. Why don't male have so much allowance like female dresses? So let me know in the comment section. So guys, I'm going to making the shirt crop top. If you want me to make another tutorial for a long shirt, please go ahead and put that down in the comment section and I'm going to do just that. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to be starting from my back block. So I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. Now I am going to mark my shoulder slope. We are basically cutting out this um, top just the way you cut out 
a guy's top or a male top so at this point now i went ahead to mark one and a half inches this one and a half inches is just for your shoulder slope and you should know that you know your shirt should fall very well so that's the fitting and the essence of this one and a half inches like i said i am starting from the back block so after that i'll go ahead now and mark two inches i will fold my two inches this way fold your two inches don't forget that we are starting from the back block so go ahead and fold your two inches fold your two inches away and the reason why you are folding it is because it is a shirt dress it's going to overlap this way at the shoulder go ahead and you know fold that away once you are done mark your top length so my top length is 20 i'm going to add two inches more for my folding allowance i have 22 inches so let me go ahead now and cut this out so i've marked my top length let me go ahead and cut it out so that we can work the exact fabric so we are basically going to be cutting this fabric this style just like the way you cut out your male boo boo or your male shirt but if you want like i just want you guys to know are you interested in seeing like the male version of this style then you go ahead and put that that in the comment section okay so go ahead now and fold it this is our two inches now after folding it now we are going to go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurement so my shoulder is 16 divided by 2 we have 8 plus half inch i have eight and a half inches i'll go ahead now and mark my eight and a half okay i'll go ahead and mark my eight and a half inches always add your half inch allowance okay so i've gone ahead now to mark that now the calculations for your arm o is basically your chest measurement divided by four minus one it's basically your chest measurements you know to know the inches for your arm o your chest measurement divided by four minus one don't forget that i said that what we want to achieve is a a male shirt okay but the crop top of that male shirt so now 44 divided by 4 we have 11 minus 1 we have 10 inches so i'll go ahead now and mark my 10 inches so this is what it looks like so 44 inches which is our chest measurement divided by 4 we have 11 inches this is my chest measurement 11 inches plus two inches for my sewing allowance but basically for guys dress you just need about one and a half inches for your sewing allowance now you are going to have a total of 12 and a half inches you are also going to mark that also for your waist we don't have any shape at this part it is not like your regular female dress where you have shape because like i said it's a male dress that we want to achieve okay so now we just basically go ahead now and connect our arm o. So this is our arm o. And also note that okay, this is our arm o. So I'm just going to go ahead now and cut this out. You also discover that I have not cut out the neckline. Yes, I didn't forget, but I prefer cutting out my neckline when I've gotten to the front block. Like I said, if you want me to make the male version of this, please go ahead and put it down in the comment section. So let me go ahead now and cut this out. So after cutting it out, this is what it looks like. We have two inches at this lower part for our sewing allowance. And this is the back block. We have these two inches which overlaps to give your shoulder that falling shape. So we'll go ahead now and cut out the front block. Guys, now for the front block, what I basically did was I went ahead to fold my fabric into two. This is the front block. Take your back block this way. Don't forget that you folded you know your two inches for the overlapping place it on your front block it's very easy place it on your front block and then you cut this out so it should align place it this way and then you cut this out so now we want to cut out our neckline so for the wideness of the neckline i'm going to make use of three inches for the wideness of my neckline like i said male you know outfits the necks are not always wide so we are going to make it of two and a half by the time i'm done sewing i'm going to have three inches now for the deepness also i'm going to make it of three inches so i have a round shape 
this is the front block right now for the slit opening because we are also going to fix in our flap also you know your placket i'm going to show you guys how to do that also now for the slit opening i'm going to make use of eight and a half inches so i'll go ahead now and just cut this out this way and then open this up And then open this up so now we want to cut out the neckline for the back block neckline for the back block now you are also going to make use of the same wideness which is three two and a half inches we're also going to have two and a half inches two and a half inches for the wideness now for the deepness of your back block you shouldn't exceed one inch you shouldn't exceed one inch so give it a round shape also go ahead and cut this out be careful so that you don't cut out the front block also so this is what we have for the back block now for the front block let me show you guys what we have for the front block by the time you open your front block you can see i'm going to show you guys how to fix in your placket and we have our neckline and all of that so this is our front block now we'll go ahead and set this aside while for the back block of course we just have our round neckline so let's go ahead now and cut out our sleeve so guys now we want to cut out our sleeve and we have long sleeve with your cufflinks i'm going to show you guys how to achieve that so this is our fabric now i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into four now note that because this is going to have cufflinks you are going to deduct three inches from your sleeve length so if your sleeve length is 24 inches you will deduct three inches for the cufflinks and then you are going to have 21 inches right so i have 21 inches now now another thing you also take note of is that your arm o curve should be equal to the arm o of your fabric so what i'm going to do now is just go ahead at this point you folded your fabric into four go ahead and mark three inches this way once you mark three inches connect it to your curve connect it this way so this is what you are going to have now the next thing you are going to do now is to mark your round sleeve so my round sleeve is 12 inches divided by two we have six plus two inches we have eight inches so i will go ahead now and mark eight inches here now the reason why i have eight inches at this point is because it's we are still going to have our cufflink so i will still end up you know pleating this part to fit into my sleeve so the next thing we are going to do now is to connect these lines together connect it this way right so this is what our sleeve looks like so once i'm done i'll just go ahead now and cut this out so guys now we want to cut out our cufflinks band that we are going to attach to the sleeve now go ahead and fold your fabric into two i have 11 inches 11 inches by four okay so i have 11 inches by four and i have two pieces so this will serve as the two sleeves so 11 inches by four inches 11 inches by four so i'll go ahead now and open up where we are going to have our cufflink slit so basically in order for you to achieve that go ahead now and fold your sleeve this way into two to get the midpoint fold your sleeve this way into two to get the midpoint so this is where the midpoint is this is where the midpoint is so i just basically folded my sleeve into two now for the length of your sleeves you can make use of five inches to six inches it depends on how high you want it to be so i'm going to make use of five and a half inches so like i said to get this slit fold your fabric into two that you are going to have you know the two pieces so don't forget to open it up before you slant before you cut it out please don't forget to open this up before you slant it out up so go ahead now and cut it this way 
so you can see your cufflink slits and also you have your band i'm going to explain how to fix it so let's go ahead now and set this aside so guys i know i said let's cut out our sleeve but before then please let's go ahead and cut out our facing because you are basically going to use facing to aim the neckline so all you have to do now is place fold your fabric into two place your neckline this way place your neckline this way go ahead and you know mark it right so once you are done you just go ahead and measure how many inches you want for your facing so i'm, I'm going to make use of three and a half this is optional you can make use of four you can make use of five it all depends so three and a half i'll connect it together so once i'm done now i'll go ahead and cut this out for my facing guys after cutting it out this is what it looks like by the time you open up your front block this way by the time you open up your front block this way we have your facing you can see two pieces also they are going to stitch on the neckline and you're also going to stitch it this way on the neckline so this is the facing for the front block so let's go ahead now and cut out the back block facing also you know i'm just going to fold my fabric into two also take where you have your neckline place it on the facing this way go ahead and mark it so go ahead and mark it this is what you have so the next thing you are going to do now is determine the length of your facing so i have four inches i'm going to make use of four inches you know you can make your facing like a round shape and you can make it like a square shape right so it all depends on you actually for your back block so we have four inches just go with the vibe okay so four inches so i'll go ahead now and cut this out it out this is what you have for the facing so by the time you open up your fabric this way i don't know if you guys are getting it but if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so by the time you place your facing this way you can see how it's going to look like at the end of the day so we'll go ahead now and set this aside so guys for the placket now i have two pieces for for the placket now the placket is basically what you are going to fix in on your front block. So for the length now, I have 15 inches for the length by 3 inches. It's folded into 2. I have 15 inches by 2. And for the smaller piece, I have 10 inches by 2 inches. So 10 inches by 2. 10 inches by 2 inches and for this I have 15 inches by 3 I'm also going to explain to you guys how you will attach this to your front placket so let me go ahead now and set this aside so guys now we want to couple this up this is our front block right so we've gone ahead to iron uh, gum stay to the facing so that our facing can have a form of structure once you are done you go ahead now and stitch your facing on your neckline so i've gone ahead to stitch my facing on my neckline on both sides and we still have our flap open this way now of course this is not how your facing is going to be i'm going to go ahead and trim off this ss gum stay on it this is the front block so for the back block now this is what you have for the back block we've also gone ahead to iron our gum stay to the back block and then we've stitched it on our neckline for the back block and we've gone ahead to stop stitch this so now what we basically want to achieve now is to lay the facing so that the facing can be you know stick to your fabric this way so basically this is what i'm going to do so this is our front block now go ahead with your back block place your back block or your front block this way because what you want to do at the end of the day is to couple join your shoulders together now just look at what i'm about doing so this is our back block now this is our front block we have our facing this way place the both shoulders on each other you can see use your back facing and flip it this way to the front use your back facing and flip it this way to the front and then you go ahead and stitch this let me come over 
over again so basically this is your front block right this is your back block now you want to join your shoulders together if you join it together this way if you just go ahead and stitch it together this way you're not going to have a very neat finishing at the shoulder it means that you're automatically going to weave your shoulder and it's not going to be neat so place your back block on your front block this way take your back facing and turn it to your front like turn it to the front this way and then you go ahead and stitch this so for this other side now for the other part now you take your fr your front shoulder and then your back shoulder join it together this way take your back facing and flip it to the front then you go ahead and stitch this so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now we've gone ahead now to you know turn the shoulders together and basically because of the method you use you can see that you have a nice finishing at the back and this is what is going to look like basically so the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and fix in our flap right so basically we have two pieces we have this which is a smaller piece and then we have this which is a bigger piece now for this for the wideness of the bigger piece i have about four inches by 15 inches but actually it depends on how long you want it to be so you can make it 13 12 it all depends and why for this i have two inches by 15 inches so what i'm going to do now is i want to couple this up right so you're going to place this now at the back this way you can see place it at the back i folded the upper part so that we can have a neat finishing at this part so once you fold it at the edge you now go ahead and stitch it all the way to where your flap opening ends you go ahead and stitch it all the way so once you are done you basically turn it okay so let me just go ahead now and stitch this okay so let me go ahead and stitch this all the way let me go ahead and stitch this so i placed it at the back and i'm going to end at this point so after stitching it i'll show you guys how to flip it to the front so guys so guys after you know you can see what it looks like can you guys see and by the time you flip it this way you can see like you've piped it and then it's perfect so now the next thing you want to do now is to stitch this upper piece so you're basically going to do it just the same way you did you know this smaller piece now i've also ironed my gum stay to it just to give it like a form of structure you know so now you're going to place it at the back this way you are going to place it at the back this way fold this upper part so you are just basically folding this upper part so that you can have like a very neat you know finishing at the upper part and then you stitch it all the way to this part right so once i'm done stitching it this is basically what we want to achieve at the end of the day so this upper piece should be able to sit on your dress this way you should be able to sit on your chest this way so this is what we basically want to achieve so all you are going to do now is just stitch this part now to this back block for this edge go ahead and stitch it and then flip it to the front so let me stitch it and show you guys how to do that so guys now we've gone ahead to stitch this you can see we've stitched this this is where we have our smaller piece we've gone ahead now to stitch it so basically what we are going to do now is to fold this edge now once you fold this edge you fold this part this way you can see just a little and then you place it on this line can you see it so this is what it looks like let me come over again so we've stitch this at the back right this is what we have now what you are going to do now is to fold this edge why are we folding this edge so that you can have a neat finishing at this point now you also fold you know this tip why are you folding this tip so that you can have a neat finishing at the tip also and then you go ahead and place this tip you are placing this tip of this flap basically on where you've sewn on the line you have here where you've attached it together so fold it this way now fold the tip and then place it on this line that you've sewn and then you stitch it you stitch it now once you stitch it and then you come to this lower part this is what you are going to have so at this lower part now you can give it any shape okay you can 
fold it you know in a square shape you can make it to have like a v shape you can just play around whatever shape you want here but if you're a beginner i'm just going to advise that please just leave it as a square shape because giving it that v shape you might not really get it but if it's something you can do then go ahead and do that so basically now i will just go ahead and stitch it this way you can see what it looks like and if you feel like your flap is too long but eventually you just want it to stop somewhere here yeah, feel free to just trim it off like the length of your flap just depend on how you know how you want it to be but basically it should be longer than your flap opening so how long you want it that depends on you so i'll go ahead now fold it and then stitch it this way once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like but if you've gotten to this point and you've learned a lot please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so guys we fixed the flap already right so this is what it looks like so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and fold the lower parts of your top so you fold it now we want to achieve our sleeve and don't forget that our sleeve is going to have cuff links right so this is my sleeve now let me take this away So this is the sleeve and this is where we have our opening for our cufflinks, right? So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out two pieces. Now for the wideness of these, I have about two and a half inches by eight. I have about two and a half inches by eight and this is a smaller piece of eight inches by one and a half. So basically you are going to fix in these two pieces to this place right so this opening just the way it's right so the way you are able to achieve this that is what we are going to have also on this cufflinks opening the same way we fixed in this you know placard at this part of the chest is the same way you are also going to fix in this to the sleeve so it's actually very easy all you have to do is take your smaller piece you know stitch it from the front this way go ahead and stitch it once you are done stitching this for the smaller piece now we are talking about the smaller piece you fold it this way and then you stitch on it just like you are basically piping it this way so it's going to stay at the edge this way for the smaller piece this is what you're going to have for the smaller piece now for the you know bigger piece you basically stitch it this way once you are done stitching it you fold it and then you use it to cover up this part this is to cover up this part so this is what it should look like just like the way you did your front block so i hope you understand that because we did that part before here on attaching it this is what you are going to have for your sleeve so you can see the smaller parts now the smaller parts you've gone ahead to fold it this serves as a piping and then for the bigger piece this is what it looks like let me zoom it in so that you guys can see it. so now this is what you are going to have just like what you have for your placard so you've turned this part now to serve as piping and then you have this other part that will just overlay on it so the next thing you are basically going to do now is to go ahead and attach your sleeve to your top but while you attach your sleeve to your top please take note of this that where you have this placard um where you have this cuffling opening should be at the back right so you have to place your dress this way your top this way before you fix in your top you can see this cuffling part this is the back so the back of your top is where you are going to have this cufflinks opening the back of your top is where you are going to have this cufflinks open so make sure you don't put this at the front because of course you are going to buckle it this way at your you know you are going to buckle it here at the back right so this is what we have now the next thing we want to do now is don't forget that we have our cufflinks band which we cut out earlier now for the band we have 10 inches by 8 and it's folded into two i've also gone ahead to iron my gum state to it just to give it like a very you know nice structure so what we are going to do now the top is almost ready 
what you are going to do now is i'm going to go ahead now and stitch this to couple this top up i'll stitch this all the way i'll stitch this all the way so that once i'm done stitching it the next thing i'm going to do now is to show you guys how to fix in this cuffling band so now i hope you guys understand how to do this but it's basically the same method with what you have for the front so i don't want to just go back it again so that the video won't be too long for those people that understood it and if you don't you can go back and rewatch it because basically to be honest with you guys the main point of this blouse or this top basically is this front placard so you can go back and watch it and learn it you know until when you're able to get it that is what you're also going to use for your sleeve area now let me go ahead now and couple this up and show you guys how to fix in the band so guys now we've gone ahead to now we've gone ahead so guys now we've gone ahead to you know couple this up we just basically went ahead to stitch this right so this is what we have now you can see that our top is almost ready now the next thing we want to do now is to so for our sleeve now you now have like a very you know a continuous opening this way and as you can see this flap for our cuffling is at the back so take note of that now the next thing you want to do now is to fix in your cufflinks band to your sleeve that's basically what you want to do now so what you are going to do basically now is to start from this edge start from this edge and then fix in your band your cufflinks band this way start from this edge and then stitch it stitch it all the way you know round you're basically going to stitch all the way around now your sleeve is going to be more than the band right your sleeve is going to be more than the band so what are you going to do you're basically going to pleat that's why cufflinks usually have pleating at the back right so you're basically going to pleat this at the back so that what you have for your sleeve can fit into your band what you have for your sleeve all the way round should fit into your band so once i go ahead now and fit this just basically stitch this all the way around if you've learned a lot from this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and feel free to drop your questions in the comment sections okay so we we'll just go ahead now and fix this you know basically just to attach this sleeve this way into this band so this is what we basically want to achieve you can see what it looks like already so now let me go ahead now and fix that and our top is almost ready so guys once you are done let me put it this way so once you are done this is what it looks like so you can see the placard you can see our sleeve and we also have our flap this way and on this part also we also have this so the next thing you are going to do now is just to fix in your button or your cufflinks and also attach your buttons this way so this is basically what we have i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i will see you guys in my next one bye